Hello and welcome to this sample coaching session. The video you're about to see is 10 minutes long and it demonstrates what a coaching session can look like. It also shows how I work as a coach, so it gives you an opportunity to think about whether I'm the type of coach you'd like to work with. To give you a bit of background, Helen is a CEO of a health drinks company. She's been in post for nine months and I started working with her three months ago. In the previous six months, she'd spent a lot of time re-establishing her team and the focus for her coaching was, is very much around supporting her to make sure her team are fully aligned and functioning at their best. She's done some really great work in terms of creating some common values and common behaviours that create a really positive culture. And she's called me to seek a short 10 minute coaching session because something has cropped up on our team that is really concerning her. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Hello, Helen. Thanks for reaching out for this top up session. Um, you have something specific that you want to talk about today and you say you've only got 10 minutes. Yes. You have managed to grab 10 minutes to talk about it. So tell me what that's all about. OK, uh, I will keep it simple. Um, I'm in the fortunate position that we are going to be able to put in a deputy uh, to me within my team in the next couple of months. Um, it's going to be a, a, an external and internal recruitment programme. Two of my team are applying. They are both terrific. They really are. And I'm a little bit worried um, how to support them evenly, fairly. Yeah. And what happens if either one doesn't get the job or neither of them gets the job what on earth happens after that? Okay, so so although it's very exciting in that you know you need to you need to appoint a new role and the team are applying for it, which is brilliant to, that people are that on board. Um, you're nervous about managing that transition and managing that process, leading through that process. So tell me what would be a really good outcome from this conversation. What would you like to take away at the end of it? I'm just not quite sure what to do before the, the, the process actually begins. So whether to have a chat with them both, uh, whether just to wish them good luck uh, by means of an email or what. My, my underlying, my underlying uh, concern for them is that they both think I, I, I prioritise them, I appreciate them, I respect them. And whatever happens during that, that process, they will both come out and still be members of my team. <laughs> Yes. So you want them to know that, do you? Absolutely, I do. Very yeah. clearly. And I, I, hear the, I hear your commitment to them and wanting to make sure they feel OK through this process. So, so what would you like to take away at the end of this conversation? A, um, a, a plan of action, really. A plan of action. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Let's see what we can get on. And I'm, I'm conscious that I'm kind of speeding us through it, but I'm just very aware of your time and that we've got 10 minutes today. So... Um, Tell me a bit more about what you've done so far in relation to this. Um, I've acknowledged the desire to apply for the promotion. Yes. And I've said I'm uh, very pleased that they're doing so. And that uh, if they have any questions about the whole process, please do ask me. That's really it, because uh, you know, my concern is to be even handed and fair to them both. And yes, I, I, therefore, I don't want to overstep any, any boundaries on that one. Yes, yeah, so great that you've acknowledged that and that they know that you're supportive of them. Um, anything else you've said to them? Um, not at this stage, no. That's, that's probably why I picked the phone up to you in something of a, of a hurry, thinking I'd quite like to have something that makes uh, good, reasonable and fair sense before I start. Yes, yes, okay. And great to be thinking it through like this as well. So have you ever been in a position where you've made an internal um application yourself well, you have actually not not here but uh in one of my previous roles uh i went through a, a promotion um a application a couple of times the second one was successful the first one wasn't and believe me i wasn't very happy about that on that occasion okay okay and uh, i suppose those feelings i can still remember them i don't still feel them but i don't want either of my team yes to come out of it feeling uh, like i did then Yes, yes. So uh, what, what was your, how did your line manager work with you through that process? 
did they do anything that particularly worked for you? What they didn't do was pity me and say, oh, it's what a shame, this is terrible. Um, and I, I kind of wanted that pity at the time, don't, don't get me wrong, but actually it wasn't, it wouldn't have been useful. So yes. my manager said to me, okay, what's going to happen in your career here in this company next? Are you going to stay? Are you going to look for something outside because you don't want to wait? Are you going to wait and go the next time around? And I really had to think about that. Yes. And because I really love the job, I ultimately said I'm going to go the next time round. So uh, what, what Maureen said to me was, OK, what are we going to do to make you ready for it next time round? Yeah. And how, what was the impact of her having that conversation with you and saying those um, things? To begin with, it was tough because I had to uh, reflect on what I perceived to be my own uh, you know, failure. But actually, she made me take the positives out of it. So she made me go and ask for feedback, which I hadn't done before. And on reflection, there was an awful lot of good stuff coming out of that. And there were also, lo also a lot of things, or at least a certain number of things, that I could put into place to make me ready for the next time around mm. and she really supported me in that mm. so what i've just heard you say is although you were upset at the end of the process when you didn't get the job the way your manager responded really helped you because it brought you to realize that there will be other opportunities and that she was committed to helping you grow and develop in your role yeah. so there's some key learning there that you could apply to how you um work and speak with your team members you know your directors that have applied whether one or both of them don't get it or not um, there's some key learning there um, what about before the process begins so you say you've acknowledged them and and you've told them that you're happy that they're applying mm -hmm. is there anything else you'd like to have a conversation with them about um i don't know at this stage if if there is a Probably the conversation I should have is, is what would they like or what do they need me to, to do or to say um, rather than me deciding on their behalf. Maybe, that, maybe that's the first step is to, to, and perhaps I should do it with them both together actually, um, so that they could. know it's even handed. So yes. I, I support you both. You can let me know now or you can let me know any time in between now and then if there is something I can do that would help you. Yes, yes. And maybe I should uh, have also make the conversation about what happens after yes yes whatever the re whatever the result is this is what potentially could happen afterwards so that would kind of create a, a positive picture whether they succeed or not yeah. in the application process yeah that sounds very very positive so what what sort of options are coming up for you through this conversation helen maybe just to revisit in my own mind exactly the experience i went through make a few notes about that and actually, why not share that with them? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that would certainly tie in with your values around uh, being transparent, about being vulnerable as a leader so that there's a great level of trust in the team, you know, and that's what you've been establishing over the past few months. So I would t so totally support you in that. That sounds like a great thing to do is to share your journey too. Yeah. I think I might do that. I'm also wondering, actually, um, our chair is a very experienced person in our industry. He sits on all kinds of external boards and anyway, I won't, I won't bore you with that, but actually um, I think he, uh, because he does an awful lot of mentoring with people outside of our, our company, he would be a good sounding board for me on this one. Well, that sounds like another yeah. very, really helpful action as well. Yes. Great. So we're up to the last minute of our 10 minutes. I don't want to keep you over time. What are you taking away? What's the action plan you're taking away? So get, get meetings in the diary straight away with my two directors. I'll ask them if they want to do individual ones, if they'd like to do one together or both, whatever, whatever works best for them. I think get them in the diary. The more support I can give them, the better, the more open the process can be, the better. And I think I'll book maybe a 15 minute chat with my chair and just see if there's any advice he's got from his own vast experience that he can give me before I go into those conversations. I think that's as far as I 
I need to be planning at this moment. Yeah, that sounds fantastic. Okay, how was today for you? How have you have you got to where you wanted to? Well, I've got I've got some uh, actions to put into place, and I, I was feeling a little bit, um, let's say, fuzzy around the edges about it. Yes. You know, from, yes. From wanting to do the right thing for both, uh, and not quite knowing what the right thing was. So now I think I've got a plan which at least I can share with them, get some advice on, and get get something to happen because the the process is the selection process is just over three weeks before it starts opening. Yeah. That sounds great. And from what you're saying as well, it's also very supportive of you sustaining the harmony you've created on the team because potentially it would be a dynamic rumbling under the team if you didn't address it so overtly and so transparently. So great, really great actions. Okay, let's go. You've got to go to your next meeting. I do, I'm afraid. Uh, thank you very much for sparing the time today, Mary. I really appreciate it. Absolute pleasure. Thank you. All right, catch up soon.